Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the 12th video of the Basic Practice Training Series, a series aiming to introduce some fundamental exercises to improve your internal style practice. So far, I have received a lot of positive feedback on this practice-oriented series, and I will keep introducing more in the future. Today's video will focus on the single whip or dan bian form of a Chen style Tai Chi. Single whip is a very popular Tai Chi form in other Tai Chi styles. Even in the Chen style Tai Chi community, there are different ways to express the different martial understandings by different practitioners, schools, and branches. Some seasoned teachers, including myself, have uh, different ways to practice this small form according to what Tai Chi principles and the martial intents they want to express. So, it is no surprise to see different ways of uh, single whip demonstrations in the community. Today, I will work with my student Philip to demonstrate this small form. Usually, I only teach some of the students at the advanced level since it requires a solid foundation. Again, different ways to practice the same movement reflects the different practice goals. What I will work on with him today will be a more dynamic approach, which is more suitable for developing Tai Chi martial skills and the techniques used in self-defense. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Hello, today we will talk about single whip. Single whip is an important movement to any styles of Tai Chi. For example, in the first style, a first routine of the Chen style, it has been repeated for many times because of the importance of this uh, movement. And I will let my student Philip to practice first at the same time I correct his practice. Meanwhile, I will introduce some uh, important uh, Tai Chi principle during the correction time. So you can start from here, single wave, slowly. One, two, three, pretty good. Four, five, six. Okay, thank you. You can go back to here. Before we start, I would like to tell you that there's so many ways to practice this movement. But what I'm teaching now is based on the Chen Zhao Kui style of a Chen style, which involves a lot of opening, closing, rising, downward, the different type of uh, opposing movement motion in the, in the, in the routine. So let's, if you see the, the, the movement different from what you are doing, which is totally fine, okay? So let's start from here. First, opening closing motion. Any opening closing motion should start from the chest. One, see, chest open. Then close from here. So open, then close. When you finish this movement, the, the hands, fingertips, and the back foot should point to the same direction. You see, front foot, back foot, hand, same direction. Yes, because punch me, right? It's kind of this movement. One, right? So, one, yes. In order to strengthen this area, so this finger, in that finger to the street, the thumb should little steadily downward. Yes, have, here have an opening feeling here. One. Here have closing motion, but elbow slightly extend out. One, not out like this, not slightly down, little because you want to use the strike. Nice movement is the here. Be careful, do not miss this circular movement. See, one, why? It's like someone hold your arm, right? This kind of movement. So, two, two, one, the, one, the elbow down, height up. So, one, two. Then extend. So be careful. When he practice this movement, his chest should relax. See, one, three, see, chest relax. And then next movement, then four. Here, move in, and the elbow in, hip down, knee up, same time. Then before you step, sink down, slide. 
then shoulder pushes one very good then here follow also then now bike two okay you please move to here I, it's easy for me to correct you so from here okay bike then next movement okay be careful here in Tai Chi practice, we have one important principle, which is Feng Zhuan Bi Chen, meaning that one, one where there is the turning of one and turning, there must be a sinking motion. For example, here, one, two, because you were from here to here turning. So one, two, then three. So now make sure up, down, then shift the weight, shift the weight first. At the same time, Rotate here, shift the weight. Then turn the right foot inward slightly. Then push with this area. See, three, this area. Continue. No, three, push the end. Then when, you, when you're ready, then gradually move back, sink down. Eventually look forward, palm extend, body sink down. If I were him, I would try to extend a little bit further. Okay, then now let's repeat from here, right? From here, right? Then relax. Yes, so coordinate. Coordinate, knee up, hip down, palm extend further, slightly in. Here have a holding motion, then shoulder down, exhale. Yes, that's the good posture. Thank you. I hope you all find this video beneficial to your practice. Thanks for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.